And welcome everyone to a late afternoon Monday here on the West Coast. March Madness, NCAA.com, look at the rankings and a quick tease of what we got for you this week. Uh, I will be at the WCC Monday night semifinals, final Tuesday night, then off to the Big Ten tournament in Indianapolis, and then back to Las Vegas for the Pac-12 tournament title game on Saturday, then on Sunday we're in Atlanta for Selection Sunday. So these are the last rankings that you're going to see prior to Selection Sunday, obviously. Um, the difference here with the AP poll and Power 36, and I want to direct everyone's attention, obviously, to our last bracket prior to Selection Sunday. We will have one on Selection Sunday morning, um, so that you certainly can, you know, take a look at that as well. Um, so the, the the main difference here, though, that um, you know I want to show here is in the Power 36 and the AP poll. Um, you know, San Diego State, maybe I was too harsh on them, but I had them, uh, you know, at 11 in the Power 36. They were 6 in the AP poll, but they've been playing with fire lately. And, you know, they lost um, to Utah State, lost to UNLV the week before. So I don't think it's crazy that uh, to, to knock them down a few pegs. Butler, maybe I should have put them higher, 24 in the AP poll. I've got them at 32 in the power of 36. Butler fans, certainly critical of that move. Um, you know, maybe I've seen all too high because they lost two games last week, but uh, and that's a fair criticism. So upon further review, maybe I should have been where AP has them in the teens in terms of how they're playing well. The rest of them I feel pretty good about. Kansas, Gonzaga, Dayton, Kentucky, Florida State, Baylor, Creighton, Maryland, Michigan State, the Aztecs, Oregon, Villanova, Wisconsin, you know, Louisville, Duke, BYU. We'll see them tonight, Monday night, uh, and uh, we'll see if I see them Tuesday as well. You know, Rutgers had a great week, our team of the week. Uh, Utah State back in here with Sam Merrill. What a, he was our player of the week. What a week he had in, in getting the uh, Aggies to the uh, AQ and the win of the Mountain West Conference. So phenomenal job there. Um, you know, the key thing here, and I know I take a lot of flack for this, but I'm not the only one. The key thing is that the rankings are a snapshot in how our teams are playing. If you saw the bracket, it's not necessarily a reflection of the seeding because the seeding is the seeding and the selections, and the rankings are how you're playing. And that's why, for example, you know, San Diego State's 11th in my ranking, uh, but they're not 11th on the seed line. Um, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people were critical of Duke being a four seed in our selections and seedings, and yet Duke, you know, lost to Wake Forest, lost to NC State, lost to Clemson. So it's not crazy to say that they would be a four seed. The other thing I just want to point out, and I said this on Twitter on Monday afternoon, you know, we our Midwest bracket was kind of stacked, and, you, you know, that can happen. Because, and I know a lot of people don't believe this, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists out there, but they don't look at brand names. Now, they do try to balance the bracket, but it's balancing on the seed lines on, you know, okay, we want to make sure we've got, you know, the right you know, groupings here with the twos across the board, the threes and the fours and the ones and so on. And so in a particular year, if a team like Duke or Kentucky, although I think they'll be higher, but Duke's a good example, you know, if they are playing to more of a four, yet they have the potential to be even a one in terms of their talent, too bad. That's who they are in this moment in time. Um, you can't judge them on the fact that they beat Michigan State uh, at the beginning of the season and discount the losses. So that's why they may be seated lower than their potential. And um, that's why... You know, you could see a Duke as a four with a Dayton as a one. And brand name-wise, people are like, oh, my God, that would be great for Duke to be in a bracket like that. But you have to base it on how you're playing, what your body of work is, as to where you would be seated. Uh, you know, that that's definitely going to happen. All right, so I got the questions working right here. Um, so people criticized of how you're playing about, you know, that – my, my constructive criticism there flew by there on Kentucky. But Kentucky still won the game without Ashton Hagens. They beat Florida. You've got to get credit for that. 
Um, so let's say, okay, Ben Marino thinks I'm a joke because I have Seton Hall at eight, which I did say, Ben, that that's a fair criticism. Um, so he says I should reevaluate my career. Well, I've been doing this for 30 years, Ben. So, you know, you can be a little mean and mean spirited there, Ben Marino. Some angry issues to this morning. All right, let's go here with uh, Frankie Keplinger. If Fresno, if Florida State, excuse me, Florida State, I covered Fresno State FSU, wins the ACC tournament, Baylor doesn't win the Big 12, does FSU get the one seed? I wouldn't rule out Florida State getting the one if they win both the regular season and the conference tournament. Teams have been rewarded for that in the past from the ACC. Eric says I'm an Iowa hater. Ooh, strong words there, Eric. Um, let's see what happens when I uh, look at my All-American list that you'll hear on March Madness 365 where I have Luka Garza. Uh, too bad about Northern Iowa. Yes, I did not have him in the bracket. The Drake loss upon further review was too damaging. Um, Marcus Perez, what are my thoughts on Texas Tech? I had them in the uh, first four in Dayton. So, Is Wisconsin for real? Ask Douglas. Well, Douglas, if they make shots, make threes, double figure threes, yes, they are. Um... Can Providence get higher than a seven, John? Yes, they can. What if they win the Big East Tournament? All right. Um, why is Duke so low, says Isaac, when uh, because of their losses? Well, you know, you, you got to look at the losses they have in the ACC. They lost to at least three teams, we'll see about NC State, that aren't going to be in the NCAA Tournament. Um, is Rutgers a lock? I think they are, yes. They had a great week beating Purdue on the road and Maryland at home. Um, why is the SEC so weak? It's a good question. Really struggle being on the top four. I only see four right now getting in. Top four. Um, God, these questions are flying by. I appreciate the engagement. Uh, where do I see Ohio State? I'm trying to remember where we had them. We had them in the six to eight range. Um, take on Michigan State. They're playing well at the right time. They could get to Atlanta. Does Boise State have a chance? Uh, you know, James. They already lost in the semis of the Mountain West Conference Tournament, so they have no chance. Um, my Final Four, everyone wants a Final Four without seeing the bracket. I feel good about Kansas. What did I just almost say? Gonzanzas. Kansas, Gonzaga. Um, I like an offensive team, whether that's Creighton or BYU. I could see one of them getting there. I, I think a Big Ten's getting there, whether that's Maryland, Michigan State, or Illinois. One of them's getting there. Feel it. Um, I don't know. I got I to gotta see the bracket. We're so close. I might as well see the bracket. Um, thoughts on Baylor? They're trending in the wrong direction right now. They got to get their act together in the Big 12 tournament. How much do quadrant wins affect seeding? A ton. Robert Bradshaw, Seton Hall, or Creighton will get to the Final Four. I could definitely see that. Where's New Mexico State, 19 in a row? Yeah, I could have put them in. Fair fair statement. Definitely playing well. And no one's going to want to play them. They, all, they really should have beaten Auburn last season. No question they should have beaten Auburn last season. Um, all right, let's take two more. Sorry, this has been choppy Wi-Fi where I am. Um, let's see here. Do I think Kentucky has locked in a two? No, they could get still... A little higher, maybe. Depends what happens above them. Um, where is Michigan? Oh, Michigan fell out, uh, but not in my. They fell out of my rankings. Uh, you know, Nebraska losing to Maryland. Maybe that wasn't fair, but um, they're still seated very well, and I think they'll be fine. Um, let's see. John thinks West Virginia is going to win the Big 12 championship. Who's going to win the SEC tournament? Um, I got Kentucky, but you'll see all my predictions on March Madness 365. All right. I have to get to the WCC tournament here. Um, appreciate your engagement. Check out our bracket. Check out March Madness 365. Joe Lenardi, Dan Dockich, Obi Toppin. My predictions for this week in the conference tournaments. You can send some mean tweets.
come at me. It's all right. I can take it. Uh, but I love the passion and the engagement. All right. Enjoy Champ Week. Stay safe, everyone out there. Wash your hands.